Hello welcome to our channel Unfortunate News, your daily video channel to honor the lives and legacies of famous notables who passed away today March 3rd and in recent days disking unfortunate updates regarding the Will Ferrell but of course, before that we have that special request for you to subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends and leave a like to help us bring this content to more and more people. Paul Howd born on August 25, 1954, was a renowned Canadian actor in television and radio host. He began his career as a radio presenter on May 4, 1975, joining the program Weekend Nights on Cost 730. His talent as an impersonator was crucial in securing this opportunity. Pierre Arpin, the author of various radio puzzles, recommended him to Pierre Rober, the program director at CKAC. Despite initial skepticism, Robert met him on the same day and hired him. The next day, subsequently Paul Howd hosted over 6,000 programs primarily in the morning on SEC CFGL FM since April 30, 2007, he became a presenter on 98.5 FM. His presence also stood out in various entertainment programs on radio, Canada TV ATQS and Tele-Quebec. Recognized for his talent as a comedian, he became known for impersonating various highly successful personalities. He participated in the Bye Bye program in 1976 and 1983 presenting multiple imitations of political figures however. His greatest highlight was as the host of the game show Lingo his co-hosting with Charles LeForin on the Laurel program where he played the role of the game master and his role as a columnist. On the program Lau and Estesieper these accomplishments solidified his position as an essential figure in the Quebec television scene sadly Paul Hood passed away on on March 2, 2024 leaving behind a significant legacy in the world of entertainment. Chris Mortensen born on November 7, 1951 was a notable American journalist whose career was marked by valuable contributions to various CSPN programs including Sunday NFL Countdown, Monday Night Countdown Sports Center, ESPN Radio and ESPN Com. The inception of his journalistic journey occurred when he realized he could no longer compete in football, basketball and baseball after completing high school by abandoning his initial aspiration to become a teacher and coach Mortensen recognized the intensity and competitiveness inherent in sports journalism his journey commenced in 1969 at the Daily Breeze newspaper in Torrance, California where, over the years he amassed a total of 18 journalism awards particularly noteworthy was the National Headliner Award for Investigative Reporting in all categories received in 19778 in addition to his print achievements, Mortensen directed the film The Unreal Story of Professional Wrestling in 1999 since his debut on ESPN in 1991. Mortensen played a crucial role in Emmy-winning programs such as NFL Game, Day NFL Countdown Sunday NFL Countdown, and the series Outside the Lines he also served as an analyst during ESPN's coverage of the NFL Draft in April 2023. After the 2023 NFL Draft Mortensen made the decision to depart from the network. Chris Mortensen was a man of Christian faith on January 15, 2016 Mortensen announced through an ESPN statement that he had been diagnosed with stage 4 throat cancer, consequently he decided to take a temporary leave from his cable network activities. Unfortunately, he passed away on March 3, 2024, leaving behind a significant legacy in American sports journalism. Mary Jane Santa Ana GCK was born on October 2, 1, 1964, professionally known as Jacqueline Jose and she was a renowned Filipina actress recognized for her captivating eyes and antagonistic roles in films and soap operas she received numerous accolades including five gad urian awards two luna awards and a fuss award along with an asian film awards nomination jose made her acting debut in 1984 in consecutive adult drama films Chaz, directed by william pasquale and show privado directed by Kido s rono earning her first famas award nomination for the Later her first Guad Urian win came from her role in the adult drama Taka, to on 1986 securing the Best Actress Award. She won her first Luna Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1996 for portraying the husband's mistress in the 
Floor Contemplation Story 1995, Jose's first television appearance, was in the soap opera Familia Zaragoza, playing Esther from 1996 to 1997 and she gained popularity on television for her portrayal of Magda in Mula Sapuso 1997. 2. 1998 Later, she appeared in various other soap operas in 2016, her portrayal of a struggling matriarch involved in the underground methamphetamine trade in Brian Mendoza's Morosa earned her the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival making her the first Filipina and Southeast Asian to win the prestigious prize for this achievement. Cho's was honored by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts at the Annan Dangle Ceremony in 2017. In 2023, she received the Eddie's Film Icon Award. Unfortunately, she passed away on March 3, 2024. Mark Dodson was a talented American voice actor known for his unique vocal characterizations that brought creatures to life in iconic films such as Star Wars Return of the Jedi and Gremlins. Unfortunately, at the age of 64 he has left us Dodson's daughter informed TMZ that her father passed away while attending horror con in Evansville, Indiana during his stay at a hotel he suffered a fatal heart attack while sleeping Dodson became immortalized as the voice of salacious Crumb the quirky and chatty creature companion of Jabba, the hut in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This distinctive voice also led him to lend his talented voice to Magai in Gremlins earning widespread recognition and imitation in schoolyards throughout several decades. Dodson worked tirelessly as a voice actor in films, video games, radio, and commercials leaving a lasting legacy in the industry his daughter Shara shared with TMZ that her father never ceased to make me proud the Evansville Horror Con, where Dodson was scheduled to participate, expressed heartfelt tributes. On Facebook, we are heartbroken to announce the sudden passing of Mark. Dodson last night Mark was not only a talented voice actor but also a beloved member of the horror community Our Thoughts and prayers are with his family, friends and fans during this incredibly difficult time Dodson leaves behind a son and grandchildren he departed on March 2, 2024 in Evansville, Indiana, succumbing to a heart attack. Will Ferrell has revealed details about the health impacts of portraying Buddy the Elf in the Christmas classic. Elf in the film many scenes involve the consumption of an extremely sugary diet, which took a toll on the American actor. As Buddy ages and discovers his true human identity, he faces challenges in New York, especially in adapting to non-elf life. One of the main differences between Buddy and humans is his preference for sugary foods. Frau then, 35 years old, shared that he experienced intense headaches and had difficulty sleeping during the filming due to excessive sugar consumption to embody his character in an interview, he said. That was tough, I ingested a lot of sugar in that movie and didn't sleep much I stayed constantly awake, but for the love of the film I'm well willing to do whatever it takes if it involves consuming a lot of maple syrup then I will consume it if that's what the job requires during the scene where Buddy consumes various candies and foods, including spaghetti feral even vomited, and the scene had to be res hot, however the success of Elf was Undeniable grossing an impressive $220 million worldwide surpassing its $33 million budget and becoming a beloved work during the Christmas celebrations.